ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878, and today's episode is going to be on update 15.16, a relatively small update, uh, mostly bug fixes, and a couple of weapon changes, a new tactical alert, uh, a couple of new... Uh, Warframe augments. Actually, it's actually a, a fairly decently sized update. I lied. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, the Tenno reinforcements for this week were uh, new, what are they called? Uh, Gemini Nikana sheaths. Uh, these are sheaths for your uh, Nikanas. Uh, for both the Nikana and the Dragon Nikana, there's actually two different sheaths. Uh, not overly impressed with this. Um, I think that this is kind of a silly little cosmetic thing that uh, I could have done without. Not not overly impressed with it. Uh, next is the new Warframe Augment Ability Mods uh, for Ash, Rhino, and Hydroid. Uh, these are all pretty interesting. You can obviously purchase them from the appropriate syndicates. And it is Ash's alt, his blade storm, Hydroid's alt, and Rhino's roar ability. Those are the three new augment mods. Uh, I think these are probably were supposed to go out in update 16, but Digital Extremes was just like, yeah, just throw them out now. You know, give them something to do, and we'll we'll release everything else in update 16. Uh, which I mean, is that's not a half bad idea if if the if they're done. Just, you know, give us something to do, you know? Give us something to, you know, keep uh, farming that syndicate experience. Uh, some weapon changes this week. The Rakta uh, Ballistica, which is a weapon that everybody has been crying and whining about for weeks since it came out, that it needs a buff. Uh, got a little buff a few uh, weeks after it came out, but nothing really that substantial. Uh, this week, the charged bolt damage went from 100 to 300, and the uncharged bolt damage went from 25 to 75, and it is now a fully silent weapon. And I think this is finally going to get people uh, to shut the hell up about this weapon not being very good. Uh, I think, you know, tripling the damage of the charged shot and of the uncharged shot, I think that will finally get people to calm down on this weapon and, and move on to bitching about something else. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, the final part is uh, the footage you're actually seeing behind me right now has been the Phoenix Intercept uh, Tactical Alert. Uh, this is actually a pretty, it's not a bad tactical alert, not like the last one that was obnoxiously difficult. Uh, this tactical alert basically is a melee only tactical alert. Uh, the Grenier have created artificial genomes which will increase the uh, broken, it'll increase the durability and, and fix the broken links in the Grenier DNA and will make them stronger. Uh, so your objective is to stop them from getting this information out. Uh, and uh, it's it's not bad. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but you can only use the heavy melee weapons. Uh, Galatine, uh, the Sindo, the Sindo Prime, the Gram. Uh, just, um, I don't think the Jet uh, Katig Hammer is included. I think it's heavy bladed weapons specifically. Uh, but it's not it's not difficult, it's just time-consuming, uh, because you have to do five waves on the first level, and then you have to do ten waves on the uh, second level. And, you know, these waves usually take about five minutes each, uh, five to seven minutes. So you're going to be spending, on that second area, you're probably going to be spending close to, you know, 45 minutes to an hour on the second part of this tactical alert. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know why, it's just basically because Digital Extreme says so. Uh, but the first part does not have a conclave requirement. You can do pretty much uh, anything you want. There is a restriction that you can only use the heavy bladed weapons, uh, which really sucks, but what are you going to do? Uh, I chose to take Galatine and Valkyr because you can still alt with Valkyr and... It not count, so I figured that utility would be great. 
uh, which the first level, once you complete it, you get the uh, Tempo Royale stance for heavy bladed weapons, which you've been seeing me use here in the second half of the video. I really like it. It's very, it's it, it, there's a lot of movement in the stance, and it also has very wide arcing moves. Uh, the There is also a number of uh, combos that stun and knock down enemies, which is also very handy. Uh, once you complete the second part, which is, like I said, ten waves, uh, you get another piece of the Stratos uh, emblem. Uh, but that has been pretty much my summary of update 15.16. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And this has been Francois878, signing out.